Hello everyone, welcome to this last discussion for the course. Uh, in this week's discussion, we were asked to reflect upon George Marsden's The Outrageous Idea of Christian Scholarship. Um, of the, I believe it was six chapters, the fifth one is the one that really got to me. Uh, its title was The Positive Contributions of Theological Context. Uh, in this chapter, Marsden reflects upon uh, how theology and scholarship are related uh, and how most scholars work within a certain framework and it actually includes their theological perspective whether or not that might be uh, subconsciously or consciously because they are inherent now there are some times where this framework is uh, known by a different name, so to speak. Uh, he actually includes a discussion in this, of this in this chapter. Um, in particular, though, he focuses how scholarship and theology are related according to certain points of Christian doctrine, uh, including creation, the incarnation, the Holy Spirit, and the human condition. Um, he particularly points out that most scholars are um, encouraged to approach things from a methodological methodological um, atheism. Uh, they try to take God out of the equation. Well, he also points out how this is not possible given the limitations of human uh, beings. This is especially obvious when considering the postmodern scholarship um, as it relates to the doctrine of creation, which basically stipulates that uh, God is the creator of the world. He is the beginning, um, so on and so forth. However, uh, most Western postmodernists try to to take God out of the equation, like I said before, and approach it as a methodological atheism uh, in, term, in the term coined by Peter Berger. Um, he, Marston points out, even if a scholar chooses to approach the idea as humans being the product of natural forces, we must then question how those natural forces came about. These questions, of course, have further implications for more than just historical scholarship, but the natural sciences and other fields of study. Um, the same could be said for the uh, how the doctrines of the Incarnation, the Holy Spirit, and the human condition, as pointed out by Marsden. The point Marsden is trying to make in this chapter, and indeed this book, is that although Christian scholarship is focused or approached from a Christian standpoint, uh, it does have many contributions to all scholarship. Uh, especially in the moral construct. How do we tell what is true, what is not true, uh, how things came to be? All of which are important to all fields of study.